Hello, boys and girls from the 80s. We'll be right back in a second with one to grow on. You may have only recently learned of Gimp Squad, but we've been operating in the background of society for many generations now. While we are happy with all of our achievements in the past, our best success started in 1999 when the Republican National Committee approached us with our most challenging goal to date, to help them get back into the White House. Our career specialists looked over billions and billions of resumes, all of them from Texas, until we finally came up with the ideal candidate for them. Yeah, uh, look, there's time for politics. And, uh, you know, it's time for politics. And uh, I... Uh... Well, that's right, George. It's time for politics. This election year, if you don't want America to be the butt of the world's jokes, ask yourself, did Gimp Squad help this person get to where he is? And remember, there's no E in potato. Any final thoughts, George? It's an absurd insinuation. At Gimp Squad, we don't make a lot of the products you use, we just make them funnier. For the shatters, Oh yeah, yeah, it's gone. That was pretty gone. It was gold. Totally gone. It was gold. But anyway, folks, we're not here to talk to you about gold. We're actually here to talk to you about a very serious uh, subject matter. There's a there's a health crisis going on right now as we speak. Millions of people are being affected by this. Uh, it's, it's a very serious disease, and and we here at Sunken Turd really feel that, that we need to do what we can to make you aware of, of this of this problem. We feel compelled if you will, to, to explain it to the world out there that there is something serious going on. It affects me, it affects you, it affects anybody. Well, it doesn't affect me. I, it I, might I, affect you indirectly because someone you know might have this problem. So, I mean, I... No, everyone I know already got checked. Somebody I know has this problem. <laughs> and, and indirectly, he knows me. So, uh, we, uh, we do have something serious to talk about. And, and, and that, that, unfortunately, is, um, is butt cancer. Now... Butt cancer is a is a uh, is a disease, obviously that affects you know the butt the butt uh, it, it, yeah the butt and, and and you know directly to the butt okay doesn't spread it stays localized to the butt and doesn't move so so remember guys it is still okay to have anal with your girlfriend not a problem it's not contagious through what'd you say anal anal not contagious through the anal. Anal, which anal is intercourse, some sort of Just sexual activity through the butt, uh, it's but the best kind. That's so 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 I've heard. Pardon me. <clears throat> um, what the fuck, dude? Where did that butt plug come from? <laughs> Seriously, is there a butt plug? Right there. <laughs> no, right there. <laughs> That's so nasty. <laughs> anyway, folks, the, uh, the way that the uh, the doctors check to see if you have the butt cancer is they actually. Uh, they, 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 they try to do this gently, but there really is no gentle way of doing it. They, they take a camera that's on the end of it, like a string or a rope or a pole or something, and they have to shove it up your ass. Now, now, now it's a little bit more like pumping gas. It's just, they just shove that thing right in there. So now, this, <laughs> go ahead, sorry. They, they, they use lube, but I mean, really, uh, how comfortable can it really be? Uh, especially for those guys. Well, yeah, you know, there is that story about my dad. My dad did recently get checked for the butt cancer, and um, from what I gathered from, from talking to him about it is it, it can be a painful and possibly even a pleasurable experience. Uh, so when you're out looking for a doctor, make sure that you do find one that has a great sense of humor uh, as well as a gentle touch. And we'll buy you a drink beforehand. If they buy you a drink beforehand, great. But beware of the ones wearing the big scuba diver watch. You don't, you don't want to know where, what's going to happen with that. Stay away. Stay away from the scuba diver Stay watch. Stay away from the scuba diver. Because that watch is going to get lost. That's all I'm saying. And you're going to sit there one day, and you're going to pass that watch, and you're going to say, Hey, what's the deal with the scuba diver watch? <laughs> what you're going to say. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't be wondering what the deal with the scuba diver watch is necessarily. Uh, I'd, be, I'd be a little bit more concerned about the blood. Mm -hmm. the, the, the blood encrusted scuba diver watch. Uh, what That's what exactly is you doing in there? <laughs> And why did it stay in there? I, mean, I, I felt a lot better about myself not knowing, and now I know. But that's not the case with butt cancer. You want to know. It could save your life. Right. 
Right. And if you have to sacrifice your ass keeping perfect time, shove that watch up there. It's going to happen. It's worth it to get your butt checked. Not with the watch. Without a watch. watch. Make sure they do not own a scuba diver watch. Watchless. Or Rolex. They need to go watchless. No rings. No, no, no funky utensil on the end. You need to get your butt checked. And that's one to grow on.